Welcome to section 2.2. In this section, our goal is to understand the difference between objects and functions in JavaScript. In the previous section, I mentioned that in JavaScript, functions are first class objects. And we looked at the reason for why functions are first class, but we never paid attention to the fact that they are objects. So the reason is because in JavaScript, everything is really an object and functions are no different. They can have properties and methods just like other objects. And in fact, they happen to have two special properties, which is the name of the function and the code. So all in all, functions in JavaScript are just simply objects behind the scenes. And as we know by now, they can be assigned and passed around just like any other variable. Looking further into the two special properties that a function has, uh, one of them is name. And it can really be optional because a function can be an anonymous function. And the second property is the code that it contains. And this property happens to have a special meaning because it's invocable. So let's look behind the scenes and see, or prove rather, that functions are indeed objects. From the previous section, I cleared everything else and maintained the greetings function that we had created. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually try and assign a new key to the greetings function. As we know that functions are just objects, so I should be able to assign a key to it just like any other object. So I'm going to say greetings and let's call this key type for the sake of this argument. So like the type of the greeting and the value can be something like simple. So it's a simple greeting for this example's sake. So what does this mean? This means that here I have a function greeting, which we are claiming to be an object behind the scenes. And to prove that it is indeed an object, we have tried to assign a new property to this function. Now switching over to the browser, if I try to get, or if I try to find out what this is, I just simply type greetings, which I just claim that, hey, it's just a function, which is correct because I could do something like greetings, and it'll give me my greetings. But if I want to inspect it further, if I want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I can use this simple trick uh, by wrapping the greetings variable in the curly brackets. And what the console then does is it will try to actually expose everything that the, this variable contains, or more than just the fact that it's a function as we saw here. So now if I expand on this, I do get the function just like we did here, but if we continue expanding, we see that it has some additional properties like we expected. It has a type property, it has the name, and so on and so forth. So this means that I can simply do something like greetings.type, and I'll get the value that we assign to the type key, which is simple. In fact, we can go a step further, we can even use the square not, uh, square bracket notation and I can do something like readings and give me the type and I get the same output. And finally, there's another way in JavaScript or a method in JavaScript that allows you to check whether an object contains a particular key or not or a particular property or not, which is known as has own property. So let's see if we can use that on this function or on this object. So we'll say greetings dot has own property. You pass in the name of the property, in our case type, and it will return true because it says that greetings object does have this property called type. If I had type name, I'll get the same output. But if I try something like, um, say, age, I'll get false because greetings does not have a key known as age or a property known as age. So those are the three ways to check whether our object indeed got the key assigned appropriately. Okay, And finally, the other thing that I wanted to show to you is that you can actually check whether this is indeed an object simply by looking at the constructor. So if we use the same technique again of wrapping the greetings variable in the curly brackets and I expand upon this, you can go down here to this thing called proto, which we'll talk about in a later section, but essentially you can expand this and you get access to a property known as constructor. And if you can see, the constructor is an object. 
So really what this is trying to say is that our function was indeed created from an object and therefore there is really no difference between a function and an object. All right, so hopefully that proves to you and you're convinced by this point that functions are nothing but objects and more specifically functions are first class objects. All right, uh, let's stop here and we'll continue in the next section.